Hey, what's up, my people? It's your boy, CC Sapare. You guys are welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's class, I will show you guys how to cut a bumper jacket. How to cut and sew a bumper jacket. So, it's I'm going to cut with the lining first. As you can see, I've already gone the lining with um interface, which is paper stay. You gum the lining, you gum the um the fabric too, so that the the jacket will be thick. So that the jacket will be thick. So just what you do, the measurement is not hard, it's very very simple. So what you do is number one, just slant your shoulder from this side, measure two inches down, then you slant your shoulder. So another thing you need to do is mark out um, one inch from here. Mark out one inch from here for your, um, what is it called? Zip allowance. If you like, you can fold it and come in. So after folding um, that one inch, this is it, I've already folded it. This is going to serve as a zip allowance at the front. You've already slant, um, you've already slant your shoulder. So all you need to do now is, um, get your desired length but make sure that whatever you are measuring you are still going to add additional 2.5 inches for the band that is this band this elastic band i think is um is two the wideness is after folding the wideness is 2.5 you understand so definitely you are going to sew half so it's going to remain two inches so whatever measurement you are taking here you have to consider the two inches band so if the measurement is 20 if your measurement is 26 so definitely you make this one 24.5 that is 24 plus half inch allowance then the band of two inches will complete the the measurement so this one i'm using 25 i'm using 25 so this is 25 here, the band will make it 27 for me, that is the length. Slant your shoulder, get your zip allowance, then the length. So now, from here, take your shoulder measurement. I'm using 19, the shoulder measurement is 19. Plus the uh, arm hole. Get your 7 inches arm hole. So now another thing you need to take note of is you're making a bomber jacket is not going to be tight. It's not going to be tight. So if you're making for bust um, 40, you can equally just make it 48. You can add 8 inches because it needs to be free. Except maybe you want it to be fitted, I don't know. But I feel it should be free. So here yeah, I'm, I'm cutting for bust um, 40. So I'm adding 8 inches. So 48 is um 12 that is divided by 4 is 12 i'm going to mark the same thing here then i'll just connect then you had your one inch allowance you don't really need two inches allowance eh? just one inch allowance is okay if you like you can give your uh, your jacket a shape but me i feel it's not necessary to add shape but if you want to give it a shape you can just get your waistline can get your waistline then take your waist measurement then you shape it but i don't think it's necessary so me i'm not uh, adding any shape here so the neckline just do um three four that's three here four here then you cut three here four here then you cut then your arm O2, you just connect, then you cut out. So when cutting the back now, just place this one on the remaining fabric. You don't have to add any zip allowance again, just make it equal. Then this upper part, two inches, let the back, let it be two inches higher than the uh, front. So the same shape here, the same shape, 
then the same shape so from this back now let me cut it before i cut the back neck so after after shaping it the back so just fold this on this like this you know this is the back and it's higher than the front and it's higher than the front you can just put iron on it like this so after ironing this shape now this ironing shape now will enable you know where to cut as the back neck you can just come back uh, come down half inch then you cut like this just fold it and iron it so that shape of ironing will give you where to cut from because the back is not supposed to be deep so after that shape you can just come back half inch then you cut it's black but i don't know maybe you guys are seeing it clearly you just so at the end of the day it will just be straight in this place you understand there's this front this front straight this front like this that is where you start cutting the back neck from then you cough to measure this place so that's that all you need to do now is just place this on the main fabric then you cut out the same thing don't forget i said you can also gum the fabric so now i've already placed it on the main fabric and trace it out and i also gum it this is the front this is the front then this is the back I go on both the front and the back. So now this is the first stage of, uh, of our project here. So all you need to do now is um, just place the front and the back. Then you take your measurement. So the next thing you do now is just sew the one inch allowance you had it. Sew it down. Do the same thing here. Then you join your shoulder together. Join your shoulder together. Do the same thing on the lining. Then you iron it. So now to cut the um, the patch, the patch pocket at the front, just get a small fabric like this. Half like ten point five inches from here to here. Then meanwhile, don't forget you are going to fold in one inch. This one inch will be the one that will enter the zip allowance at the front. So, one inch like this, you can mark it. One inch like that. So just get like 10.5 inches here. That is the length. Then the width, you make it nine inches. The width, you can make it nine inches like this. That's the wideness of the um, pocket. Don't forget, this place is entering the zip allowance. So from here, you measure like um, four inches. Four inches here. Then here, four inches. So from here now, just curve. From this four inches to this four inches like this so after when you you might have curved um from this four inches you measured here to this four inches you measured here you now use um what is it called cutting bias use cutting bias to pipe it outside black cutting bias or whichever color you're making use of understand the pipe it outside so this is it this eye is going to be then you know just like i said the other time after joining your shoulder after joining your shoulder and the the sides together you know this is it don't forget this is a zip allowance we are having um one inch zip allowance here so what you do now is this one will be on it like this then this other one will be on it like this don't forget you are going to M you are going to M this side you attach it to it this other side to you fold you sew it down 
that is after when you might have put in that your bias you understand you fold this place you sew you fold this other place so then this down you tag it down then this plus side too you tag it down so definitely here now we enter the the zip allowance and this other side now we enter the band at the down part so let me do let me quickly do that now and show you so if you look at it now this is the patch pocket at the front if you look at it this is it just like i told you put your bias then so on this side so on this side and you tag it down here like this so we are done with the pocket so the next thing you do after the pocket now is um to attach the band uh, that elastic band at this down part but before you do that this is the elastic band if you fold it into two to give you 2.5 and it's stretchy it's stretchy i think the length is 50 it comes like that i don't think they sell it by yard they sell it in in a row like this and the length is 50 you understand it's 50 so what you do is um you mark out um nine inches and you cut into two nine inches you cut into two this is nine inches then you cut two of it so this is going to serve as the sleeve this is the one you are going to attach uh, on the sleeve sorry understand so if you want to join it now if you want to join it just fold into two like this then you also lead to just like cutter you join it down i'll show you the way it will look like after joining then you turn it this is for the sleeve when we get to the sleeve i'll explain this one better so after cutting the one you want to use for the sleeve this is the remaining one so you, you are going to use the whole thing you understand you're going to use the thing. this is the remaining one that is after cutting the one the nine inches you want to use for the sleeve you are going to use the remaining one i think i'm having 33 inches here so this is the remaining one you are going to use don't cut anything away from me they say maybe you're making um a bumper jacket for a smaller person that is when you can trim off a little bit so this is the band so definitely it's going to have little uh, ankara band at the front that will complement um the down part so since we have 2.5 uh, 2.5 inches here you are still going to have the same thing here just fold it into two fold it into two like that just 2.5 inches long like this then sorry 2.5 inches wide then the length you need um you can make it five inches just make it five inches you can make it four too you can make it four or five so definitely one inch we enter the zip side that is one inch we enter the zip side then you are going to have um three inches left by the time i journey you understand what i'm trying to say it's going to be like this you're going to attach this part to this part you understand so one inch like this we enter the zip then the remaining three inches we we join these um we, we be together with this elastic band so now you gum this one with paper stay so that it should be a little bit thicker so after when you might have um you see i've already joined this place you know it was like this after putting the interface and just just join one side then you turn it turn it the other way around so you are going to have something like this this is the two um this thing so this is the um the band the elastic band so definitely you are going to open this one like this so you place on it you place it on it like this then you join it straight you do the same thing at this other side put them together like this then you sew it straight so after joining this is this is what is going to come out as it's going to look like this from both sides so just fold together then you notch you try and notch the center just try and notch the center like this you fold together fold it together and notch the center like this 
then you come here fold into two equal parts then you notch so after when you might have done that so you place this one on this center that you notch here this place then you draw it you start sewing you sew just half inch then you draw the elastic until this place merges with this place you are going to draw it like this you know the length now is not up to the main uh main body so all you need to do is just draw the elastic up to this place then you sew it then you do this other place like that you draw it up to that other side if you look at it now you see that our, our bumper jacket is coming up so this is it after attaching the when you are when, when you are sewing it and you are drawing the elastic so it is the elastic that will automatically be drawing the main fabric so it's able to come out this way so this is the front then this is the back this is the back part so the next thing you do now is fix your zip because your zip is going to enter up to this your zip is going to enter up to this place so that was why we didn't fix the zip before attaching this down part your zip will go through this place so this is the zip i'm using so all you need to do now is uh, put your zip like this see up to this place you fix it you fix your zip i believe we all know how to fix zip so you attach your zip here at the middle now after attaching the zip you can see the way it's, it looks like you like can use that stone zip or designer zip shark whatever zip you want to use you can make use of it then so if you look at this small anchor now this small band this one that is attached to the band see that it has come back to that three inches that i, I made mention of the other thing so now our work is almost done the next thing we are going to do now is um cut the the hoodie the hoodie aspect is what we are going to work on now so now just do your zip you cut the as if you're using a very long zip like this you cut out the excess then you measure around you measure around the neck you measure around the neck and note down what you have there I have um, 18 which is 9 are we? 9 is 16 right? no 18 I have 9 inches so you are going to we are cutting the round neck uh, with you of um, 18 inches so cutting the hoodie now, just uh, get cut out a fabric that is 17 inches long, like this, then about um, 12 inches wide, 17, 12. Then you fold into two, 17, 12, then you fold into two. So definitely just, we are going to curve it here, give it a small arc curve here. And if you like this front too, you can stick off a little bit instead of leaving it straight. Just something like this. So if you don't really know how to curve, maybe you should just measure this angle, measure two inches. Then this angle, measure two and cutter here yeah, so that you curve it to give you that curve. That is, if you really don't know how to freehand your cutting, so just do it that way. So, from here, if you like, you can leave this place straight. If you like, you can come, you can curve it a little bit too. If you like, you can leave it straight. If you like, you can curve a little bit. So, here I'm just going to curve it to 1.5. That is from here, 1.5. So it will come like this. To come like this. 
So from here now, you now measured um, the round neck measurements. I have um, nine inches. This is it. So you're not, you're actually not going to leave it straight. Just curve it a little bit as if you're cutting a collar. You're not go straight. Just curve a little bit as if you're cutting a collar. So you have your nine inches here. You mark. You can just add little allowance, maybe quarter, so I join it with a very small inch. Then you cut it this way. So all you need to do now is just so like you use quarter inch to just join round up to this place. Then you are still going to cut another uh, another two piece like this. You place it on the remaining fabric and you cut another one out like this. So I've already cut it out. So mind, but mind you, if you want a very big hoodie, that is when I when I make mention of 17 inches long, you can decide to make it 20. You understand? Maybe you want your hoodie to be folding at the back. You can decide to make it 20. Then the width, maybe probably 15. You understand? But I think this 17, 12 is reasonable enough. Then just give it your little curve here, then your color. So I have four pieces now. A four piece. So what I will do now is I will join it like this. Then I will do this other one like this too. So I've already joined it. I believe there are different ways of um of cutting Udi, but I think this is the easiest one I know. So, but should in case you have another method of doing it, there's no problem. You can just apply the method. So after after when I've joined them like this, I believe you can see like this then this one too like this so all you need to do is just take this make sure they are facing each other you understand so you place like this so you just join around then you join around if you want to make use of another fabric maybe you want another fabric to be showing outside so that means these two will be a plain fabric or a different fabric entirely but it's still the same process so just make them like this join then you join so this is it, you just use them to turn each other then your hoodie is ready. If you like you can you can put feathers here just to design it and make it beautiful. Put feather all this four. So you put it there. So now attaching it to the main fabric. Attaching it to the main fabric now, just fold into two like this. Then you notch. So after notching, just put this one here and you sew it, sew it round up to this place. Then this other one up to the other side. So after attaching it to the neck, this is it. This is it. This is the back. This is it. Our bumper jacket is almost ready so what we're going to do now is um use the lining to turn everything in so that it will be it will be very neat just fold this neck two into two notch so open up the clothes so from this midpoint that you notch you are going to place the lining on it like this then you sew you sew like this you sew through the zip like this this one is together like this then you sew from that uh, this sewing this threading of zip you are going to follow you are not going to sew here at this last edge no this threading of zip is what you are going to follow you sew it you do the same thing this other side you do the same thing this other side this one should come like this then the zip will be inside the zip will be inside and you follow this um zip thread you trace it down so if you look at it now i've already sewn it that way you understand i'll follow this uh this zip sewing you understand it's joining then the downside so all you need to do now is just Put this band inside. 
we are going to get the middle of the lining to place it then you start drawing this one you know definitely you are going to drain this other side so that it will it will tally with the lining you understand you sew it to this side then you sew it to this side you might not really be able to sew it to this last edge so just sew it up to sew it up to somewhere around here sew it up to somewhere around here so by the time you turn you can easily just use hemming gum to to seal it off so just like i said this is it i've already turned it you can see that it's very very neat so this place that i told you that you might not really be able to sew because your machine might not be able to get there so just do it this way just do it this way then you put um hemming gum just to seal it off like this to seal it up so you do the same thing at this other side you know the machine is not able to get to that place so just fold it this way put your aiming gun then you seal it up you iron the inside very well so now this is it this is it the only thing that's remaining now is the is the sleeve this is the hoodie this is it as you can see Go the front and back so now so cutting the sleeve now meanwhile you know that um this band is we're having 2.5 inches here on fold so definitely you're going to sew uh half it will remain two inches so whatever sleeve you're cutting you have to consider adding this too so this one now um the sleeve length is 24 so this is 22 already plus the sewing allowance then plus these two inches making 24 meanwhile your arm hole is not supposed to be too tight it should be free so the arm hole i'm having here is 20 21 so i'm marking it then here also is not supposed to be tight it's supposed to be free a little bit so this is nine inches this is nine inches so your round sleeve here should be around um 14. 14 inches is okay but if you want it fitted just like i said earlier you can still decide to make it your normal measurement but in this case the arm hole the bicep you're supposed to have little little uh allowances so that it will be free it will be free in your body it won't be tight so this sleeve now if you like you can also go meet with um st then you cut lining for it and go go me with paper stay. that is if you want it to be very very thick uh -huh. there is just sew it in form of suit but in this case i'm not going to go and i'm going, not going to attach lining so i'll first of all i will go and sew from here to this place then this one this one i'll fold it into two like this then i'll just join it straight with like a quarter inch so i've already joined it this one so this is the band this is the band like this all you need to do is just fold it into two like this fold it into two like this Make it equal like this. As you can see, just fold it into two. So the, you know the bar uh, we measure nine inches. So when cutting the round sleeve, you can just add five or four inches, so that at least you have some little gather to turn it to the back, to the back side of the fabric. Turn it to the back side of the fabric. Then this is your band. So all you need to do now is just put it inside like this. Put it inside like this then you start sewing from the band you start sewing from the band and you start drawing the band as you're sewing you're drawing the band to meet up the whole round sleeve so after joining this is it as you can see the sleeve is not difficult it's not hard just like i said if you like you can go meet then if you like you can pull lining so the next thing you do now is just 
attach your sleeve just put this here and you sew it around so this is it our jacket our bumper jacket is ready it's hoodie so this is the sleeve everything is ready it's as simple as that just take your time and watch it i believe you can do it thank you very much everybody for watching please don't forget to share and subscribe see you guys in my next class